the power of words can be really effective. As in Proverbs 10, 14 states, the wise don't tell everything they know, but the foolish talk too much and are ruined. So therefore, all too often, in the rush to have ourselves heard, we speak first and then we think next upon what we said. With unfortunate results, God's word remains and it reminds us that reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing as in Proverbs twelve eighteen states, if we to seek to be the source of encouragement to friends and family and those we come across, even to those on YouTube, then we must measure out our words carefully. Words are important. They can hurt or heal. Words can uplift or discourage someone. And it is reckless. And words can be spoken in haste, cannot be erased because it's been said. And normally when you say something, it's mainly coming from your heart, right? But today, measure your words carefully. Use words of kindness and praise, not words of anger or distinction. Remember that you have the power to heal others or to endure them to life as it lifts them up in hope. Remember when you lift them up, your wisdom will bring healing and comfort to a world that needs both. Because we all know that we are all in this together. Because we're all living this life together in the world. And it can be hurtful. People can be mean. Even those that you know can say things that can hurt you. Because the power of your words, that's why the Bible says, tame your tongue. Because it is what comes out of your mouth, not what goes in. And words can truly hurt. It's just like verbal abuse. It's the same as physical abuse. It has the same effect. So remember, watch what comes out of your mouth. And remember, words can be powerful upon how you use them. So use them correctly. God bless you.